Okay, here we go. So let's uh, let's continue.
This guy is a nut. Yeah, sorry about that. Look how dirty Filch's coat is, by the way. It's so nasty. By the way, did somebody fall asleep on their keyboard or something earlier? That guy, Kalu. Uh, it's anime torrents because there's no anime like this. The only way to play this anime is to play the game. It's like Metal Gear, right? You can even make the joke, Metal Gear is a good movie. I even make that joke sometimes. I say Metal Gear Solid 4 is a good movie, right? But you can't watch the movie Metal Gear Solid 4. You have to play the movie Metal Gear Solid 4. And so there is the point. I know that sounds weird, but hopefully you get it. Oh God, no, don't spray us, please. Stop. I'm allergic. Yeah, this is probably the easiest game in the series, in my opinion. But it's still fun. And it looks incredible. It looks great. Hopefully they make the next one harder. So now we can talk to him. Um, before then, let's go to the core record because it's been a while. I just look at the profiles. Um, we'll just stick to the new ones. Um, who's new? So here is Florent Labelle. Um, he's 33. He's uh, an A to Tenma. And he was supposedly with Filch when the murder happened. And here's our notes. Um, here's everything that we've seen so far. Uh, we met up with Athena. Uh, we checked the crime scene to gather information and all that jazz. Did I miss something here? Oh, that's weird. I guess that's how it is. I can't actually scroll it even if I use a stylus. And now we're talking to Lavelle. And there's lots of evidence here. As you can see that we've been collecting all over time. And even more that we're about to collect. Um, so the first thing we got to do, of course, you know what we're going to do. Haha. <laughs> is we're gonna present uh, this thing. 
Okay then. Uh, sure. So let's try talking to him. Oh, a little typo there. You guys see that? Do mind if I I, th I think that should be do you mind? Haha, -ha, we caught one. Every now and then, if you look, there's sometimes typos. You can catch it, right? Am I not mistaken there? That should be do you mind, right? Anyway, let's continue. Oh, did you catch one before, Alec Torrin? Awesome. No, we haven't done DR2 yet. It's time will come, don't worry. Just be patient. There are typos in all of them, that's zero. I, I bet even in the original Japanese game, there's typos, if you think about it. Right? There's probably that one case that has a little tiny typo that makes it way too hard for no reason, and Japanese players are all on 2CH complaining, how do you get past this part? Oh, do this, right? I bet that happens. God, no, I do. I will punch you. Did you not hear me when I said I'm allergic? <laughs> Your father's reaction, like he's dying or something. He's getting hit by Jean's projectile from uh, Carnot's Revenge. I'm not a grammar Nazi at all. Trust me, my grammar is horrible. I just noticed one that was really obvious to me. I didn't even realize there were ones earlier, even. I didn't realize that there were a lot of them in this one particular case. People are pointing it out in the chat, however. statements Again, for uh, the basic explanation, uh, just think of it like this: Athena can sense your emotions. She can, she can basically tell what you're thinking, more or less, which is pretty scary. But um, in exchange, her weakness is that 
she's like an open book. You can tell her emotions very easily, and you can almost always tell what she's thinking, right? So it's a blessing and a curse. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty freaky that she can tell what you're thinking all the time, but you know, at least you know that she means you no harm, more or less. Uh, Apollo's ability is a little different. It's more like he can sense when you're lying, but he can't really tell your emotions, really. It's more like he can just tell if you're lying or not. It's kind of weird and hard to explain. Yeah, but Phoenix technically has an ability in this one, more or less. I don't know, it's not really an ability. It's more like... Just cool looking, if anything. Can't really call it an ability. That was a little weird there, guys. Did you notice that? Here, look in the log. I'll even play it back. Okay, oops, sorry. So now uh, we have the other screen. Uh, I don't know if anything's gonna happen if we do this, but you know, we always have to do it, cause why not? Oh, okay, we did see this already. <laughs> All right, anyway, um, back. Uh, do we have anything to talk about? Yep, let's do this first. Dude, that coffee must be ridiculous. Think about it. It's like coffee from from the netherworld. Brewed in the perfect fires of hell. <laughs> Okay. 
So why did you want to merge? Here's Apollo's actually useful ability. I forgot about this. Anyway, this is a much better explanation than I can give, which is awesome. Thanks, game. So here's what it looks like on the bottom screen when Apollo's ability becomes accessible. It's got the cool little bracelet icon here, so I'm going to go ahead and touch it. And this, will, this is what will happen when I press the button. So I actually forget, uh, oh, it's this one, or I did just make it obvious. So this phrase obviously isn't it. Basically, when it gets to the right phrase, uh, gotcha. It's not this one, is it, huh?
Definitely not any of this stuff, huh? It's not the diagrams and crap. It's not gonna be this mask. Present the badge. Haha, <laughs> I should just do that. That would be funny, but no, we've already done that enough times with this guy. It's got to be either this thing, if it's not this, I'll just run it back until I find the right one. Is it... It's weird because it says it in the description, but it doesn't say it in the item itself. So I confused myself instead of just assuming that because the description was right, that it was what I was looking for. That happens sometimes. I confuse myself when I shouldn't. Okay, anyway, now we can finally ask him about this merger. She's mad. Wow, that animation looks ridiculous. Did you see that? Okay. So, um... I guess here we're supposed to present Oh, let's see. <laughs> oh, Apollo got his thunder stolen there quite dashingly by Athena. Hey, so has no one experienced that sound glitch today? Just want to know. I guess not, huh? I'm sorry to keep asking the same question. Okay. This 
visiting hours are gone. Over. Capiche. Time to go. <sighs> Investigation theme. Alright. Yep, Apollo's been there many a time. Been there. Do you know how many times in the Phoenix Wright game you cross examine something not human? Not just once, okay? Cross examine a parrot? What else? Think you cross examine a robot at one point? That's in part four, right? No, that's in the. I, uh, God. Sorry, I'm trying not to mess up. Sorry, you just cross examine weird things. Save game. Oh, this is what the save screen looks like, if I was wondering. Yes. I'm just gonna overwrite this. Yes. Oh, this will tell me the date. This is when I finished my playthrough. July. Jeez, that was a long time ago. That's how long this game's been out? Well, anyway, oops, sorry, that was an accident. I didn't mean to move that. All right, so I'm going to start a new recording in a second, but first we're going to have a quick 895, and I'm going to go get a drink of water. I'll see you guys in just a moment. 